Milk is something that has probably always been in your fridge for as long as you can remember, but how much do you actually know about milk? Milk is kind of weird, it's a liquid that comes from another animal. In many cultures, milk is actually unheard of and very uncommon. Around 10,000 years ago, barely anyone drank milk. It was mainly just farmers in Western Europe, as they were some of the first to live with domesticated animals, such as cows. Our ability to drink milk is actually due to evolution. The lactose in milk is broken down by lactase. We make this as babies to be able to break down our mother's milk, but as we grow older, this stops. Through evolution and genetic mutation, over time, this trait has developed within the population, and is now so common that over 90% of Northern Europeans have this. Back in the old days, people would drink milk because they believed it gave them a new source of nutrients, which reduces the risk of starvation. Nowadays, people aren't too sure if it's actually as beneficial as they once thought. Many people are lactose intolerant, vegan, or just don't like milk. Oat, almond, coconut, soya, pea, banana, rice, sesame, and so many more milks seem to be popping up all over the place. Now more than ever before, we have a wide variety of alternative milks. The younger generation are more aware and care more about climate change, animal welfare, and ethical food production, so it should be no surprise that alternative milks exist. The alternative milk industry is growing each year and increasing in profits, showing us that it is not going away anytime soon. However, this doesn't necessarily mean that they are healthier for you than regular milk. When you turn the carton around, you usually see they contain oil to give alternative milks to the creamy feel and texture that we get from cow milk. Almond milk is typically only 6% almonds and often only 1%. Oatly is microfoamable like regular milk, so it's super popular with baristas for coffee, but this is because acidity regulators are added to it. Alternative milks are great because there is something out there for everyone, especially those with allergies, but you can't say that they are healthier for you. Many people say avoiding meat and dairy is the single best way to reduce your environmental impact on the planet. Research backs this up to show that without meat and dairy industry, global farmland use could be reduced by more than 75%. Dairy cows add substantial amount of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, and dairy operations can also contribute to water pollution and soil degradation. One third of the world's land suffers from desertification due to deforestation, overgrazing, and poor agricultural practices. The dairy industry isn't dying, it's evolving. In the last year, oat milk sales have shot up over 600% alone, and almost every single coffee shop now has an alternative milk option. Even though milk consumption has decreased steadily over time, most people have milk in their fridges still. Hazelnuts are the next rising star in the plant-based milk industry. Soy is a classic whose popularity has fluctuated over time, whereas oat is the most popular option overall. But does all of this information mean that we need to stop completely farming and drinking milk to stop global warming? The short answer is no. Everything should be done ethically and in moderation. Alternative milk will continue to rise and be just as popular as cow milk. In fact, they will eventually even out. Alternative milk companies are diversifying and will continue to, bringing out flavoured milks, ice creams, dairy-free desserts, snacks and more. Milk sales will always rise as more diets demand for higher protein. It's also usually cheaper and more accessible than alternative milks. At the end of the day, do your research and choose what's best for you because there's a lot of information out there and everyone's needs are different.